Hello there, Pisces, and welcome to a new reading, a time-sensitive reading. And the dates are specified in the title. But anyhow, it's really what Spirit wants you to know when it comes to the next couple of weeks, Pisces. And this is going to be for Pisces and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, I feel that you're just standing in some light and truth. Now, there is something on the horizon, so just have some patience, you know, do what you want, but remain strong, especially when it comes to not letting or allowing others or a circumstance to dim your light. You're in a place of attracting, actually, so we are looking out into the future here, and you will see something that you may want to um, take a deep dive with here because it may be adventurous and it may help expand your mind, your soul, or just something that's going on in your life that's important that you do want to see expansion in. But I am seeing something about results here, okay? And yes, you are this light, a lighthouse. Just remain strong. You may need some time out too because I just see someone who is by themselves for this time period. And perhaps that's just a temporary thing here. So there could be someone on the horizon as well that many of you Pisces might be attracting towards you, okay? But let's continue and see what else you need to know. Hmm. We got this thing about discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So let's find more about this discipline and what's important for Pisces to know. So we may need to stay focused, remain strong here during a, a period of just remaining a light, regardless of maybe some negativity that could be going on or around you. Just hold your spot, hold your place here which could take some <laughs> discipline. Okay, let's get a little bit more though with this discipline for you, Pisces. It is about just detaching here. Okay, you're being asked to detach from something that you've been holding on to. When we hold on too tightly to a desired outcome, it restricts the flow. Trust that the outcome will work out let go. Oh, excuse me. Trust that the outcome will work out and let go of your attachment to it. You're going to see results here. And spirit is saying the more that you're focused on where the results are or how they come to, you know, it, it could even be pushing it way further and further. So yeah, we may just need to stay strong in our mind and not get too attached to what kind of results are coming. Um, there may be something here where, you know, you start to build up um, rewards or blessings here. So even if we start to get uh, little blessings here and there, you know, don't overlook those because it's adding to some type of accumulation of some type of desired outcome here. I, I sense, uh, excuse me, I sense air sign coming through and also I sense fire sign. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I do sense uh, Taurus as well. So I'm just putting this zodiac signs out there. Take them how you want to. Don't worry if you don't care about it. I just put it out there. All right, so let's find out what else you need to know for Pisces. Yeah, you're definitely in this like a uh, waiting period here, but you're also remaining strong and doing what you need to do, right? Because it could take a lot of discipline to just be in this state of light. Peace. Yeah, I feel that there's some, some type of, you know, release of negativity or maybe unwanted thoughts or energies, right? Uninvited. <laughs> either unwanted or uninvited. I, I really get more swords energy coming through. So we have this card of peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. You know, you're just being in this light here. And you know, Pisces, not everyone can handle your light and that's not a bad thing. Okay. That just means you're at a different level, baby. And it's okay. You're at this place of probably, ah, uh, being in the hangman position too, I feel. 
we might be in a place of, you know, seeing what's worth sacrificing, you know, so to speak here. But don't let anything um, take away your peace of mind. Just know that you're going to get some type of positive result. It just may, you know, you may need to be disciplined just to not try to figure out when or how it's going to happen. It just will. So be at peace. I just really see this connected to that light card. Let's see what else you need to know. Step back. Oh my gosh. See, this is connected to this discipline here. You're being asked to step back from your life in order to gain perspective. Okay. The fact that it's saying, you know, gaining this perspective, this is what I, I you know, you're in this energy already, and maybe it's just coming into more of a, uh, a focus. Okay. And perhaps some of you, you know, within the next couple of weeks here, you're gaining more of a, profound perspective. Okay. Anyhow, when you're too close to a situation, it can be hard to make a decision. Do we get something about decision? No, but I feel that this peace card in a sense is like two of swords, <laughs> which is a card of being under, you know, uh, not being able to make a decision undecisive. Anyhow, when you're too close to a situation, it can be hard to make a decision span out and view your life from a distance so you can get the perspective needed. I see that's exactly what you're doing. You may even be in hermit mode here, which is associated with Virgo. But hermit, you know, is also this beacon of light. Someone who's taken a step back, gaining a, you know, profound insight. And we're just talking about perspective. You know, that's uh, hangman as well. When I was, uh, mentioning the hangman here and look at the distance here, you know, we're far away from something right out on the ocean here. Wow. And aren't we getting a perspective? So some of you Pisces might even find yourself being pulled or drawn to such places like this or something in, or, or somewhere outdoors that give you a, you know, a broader perspective seek that peace. Hopefully you are, and it may take some discipline to step back and seek more peace. Okay. What else? Oh, you're, you've got this. Um, okay. We got some guilt here. Well, that's, that's okay. You know, I release any beliefs. See this, this is this whole thing about taking a step back here, releasing beliefs that no longer assist in your soul's growth you know, releasing unwanted thoughts or beliefs. I think I said something like that. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, guilt is a very powerful energy. It is a very powerful emotion. And spirit is saying it's time to step back and step back into your place of innocence and light, no matter what has happened here. And perhaps you have found something where you're not feeling as guilty um, in a way where maybe trying to make others happy or doing too much or, you know, taking on, uh, maybe others burdens or whatever has been too much. So just take what resonates. Cause I really sense like 10 of wands with this, which is a card of feeling burden, you know? So I feel a lot of you have already, uh, released this burden or you're taking a step back and you will start to see what may have been too much for you, whether it's heavy thinking, heavy emotions, you know, whatever it is. Okay. So I want to be surprised if you're finding, you know, yourself, uh, you know, doing things where you are purposely putting yourself in a position of peace. What else? You're going to get, you're going to receive something Pisces magic is at play in your life here. Never forget. You're not alone. You know, angels are among you. The ancestors are among you. Take a step back, breathe a little bit, you know, Pisces, you may need to take a step back any, you know, what we were just talking about, take a step back, but let something have some breathing room, perhaps, 
you know, maybe not overthinking it or overdoing it too much. Cause sometimes we, you know, even feeling it too much, it could be just too much, you know, in a sense here. Now take a step back, be willing to receive without guilt. I feel that may be something that some of you Pisces, you may still be working on releasing here. Cause maybe there was just something you know, where it's hard to accept things, or uh, maybe there's something with trust, perhaps. Uh, but just take that if it resonates. Not all of you are feeling like that or sense that, but there is something about you receiving a tangible thing here that's going to help carry you forward. And it's exactly what you need. So blessings are coming into your life. You know, I was talking about you're in this uh, place of powerfully attracting. So your light is powerfully attracting what or who you need. What else? Judgment. Well, we were just talking about that judgment, guilt, releasing judgment here, right? Judging yourself. I feel we could even be hard on ourselves. So be gentle with yourself. Take a moment you know, to see if you are too hard on yourself or others, perhaps. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Okay, Pisces, I just see that this is something that you're, you're already in, that you're becoming in, really in tuned with and aware of. And this is why you carry so much light because, you know, you, you're taking these lessons or these uh, circumstances and turning it into something that is you know, profound for you. But I would say, Pisces, this is like your beginning here. Something is headed towards you here. Whatever it is that you are feeling drawn to, what, whatever it is, it's going to help you with some type of possible fresh start or a strong start. Or maybe that re, like a refueling, like a re-energizing Love, we do have love here. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things without judgment, right? So we may be in a place where, you know, it's just easy to be neutral about things, not labeling something right or wrong or trying to prove something. You're just being neutral. Neut being neutral is working. I see that you are committed to being in your uh, king or queen of cups energy too. So I just see a lot of, and now we're getting more into like love energy, water energy. At first it was air and fire, you know, now we're kind of getting into this watery energy, which is good. So this is your new start, you know, a shift in awareness or a shift in energy, giving yourself permission to start anew giving yourself permission to take a step back from things or people so that you can in, get aligned with something here that can bring you peace, tranquility. Yeah, I sense water sign with that love. What else? This card wants to show itself. Changes, changes, changes. Two of pentacles. Balancing oneself, maybe emotionally, maybe materially here. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to here. When the, You know, I just feel like saying this. When the tough gets going, the going gets tough or something like that. You know, there may be, you know, signs showing you of some type of a relief up ahead. But, you know, with this two of pentacles, we, we could be feeling a little wibbly and wobbly at times, you know. So let's get more about this two of pentacles. Um, and then I want to see what this one was about. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, but we do have change. But we have to adapt to these changes. And it may be a challenge to, you know, try to be above things or maybe to have fun. Now take that if it resonates, because some of you, you may even enjoy this two of pentacles here. What's important for Pisces to know about this two of pentacles? You're making something work here. It's your feelings. 
You know, I want to show you something too with the two of pentacles here. I don't know what kind of bicycle this is. It's got that big wheel in the front and a small one in the back. Like you're just making things work, whether you need to perhaps switch the wheels around or, you know, whatever you got to do, because you're just adapting to changes, but also feelings. Now the water represents feelings in this and you can see we're above it, right? And the, your feelings are guiding you. Don't get too overwhelmed by your feelings, but allow it to guide you here and be easy with yourself. Oh my gosh, look at this, the star. See, you're headed towards more peace and tranquility, something that's going to be a positive in your life. Stay hopeful, okay? Changes are happening to help you with your destiny or help something that is very important about your life path or something that you are uh, achieving here, going towards. Balance your feelings, Pisces. It's all about balancing your feelings. Maybe be neutral about it if you can. Um, maybe perhaps you do need to detach in a sense, not where you're not, you know, uh, being aware of what's going on, but we got this thing about, you know, when we hold on too tightly to the desired outcome, it can restrict the flow. So we, when we're feeling this like sense of restrictiveness, you know, with our emotions that can really block that flow. So I'm like seeing you being really on top of things, adapting to things, perhaps being curious about what's up ahead. But we do have a positive indication with this star card here. Aquarius is at play. Well, or st I mean, <laughs> well, the star card is at play, but yes, Aquarius is here too. Just... You know, know that your feelings are guiding you towards these changes. So you're getting profound insight. Um, trust what you are picking up and receiving from your environment, from spirit. we got courage. See, you are finding the courage to move forward. Find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Because this two of pentacles, it, it really can feel a little shaky because it's like, you're trying to find your footing or your balance, you know, or you're trying to um, take on all that you, you know, may feel responsible for. And now remember, there may be something here where you are realizing you don't have to be responsible for so many things as I was picking up that 10 of wands energy here. Courage to me really signifies strength card, which, which is associated with um, Leo worry. Uh, I am learning that worry doesn't change the outcome. Yeah, see, it's like you're just kind of like, whatever. I feel that you're really stepping away from having to give too much of your mind into worry. You're just not going to give into it. Or, you, you just, or you're not surrounding yourself with others that may even have some anxiety issues or they may, they may worry too much. You might be feeling a lot of pressure possibly uh, Pisces. So take it easy because really spirit is saying you don't need to feel or take on so much pressure. Now pay attention to your feelings, pay attention to whether you're feeling restrictive, right? Because that's a cue to loosen up, allow something to flow, focus on something that can make you, um, you know, see love, feel love, whatever it is. What else? patience. Patience may be at play here. You, you P Pisces, I just get this fire thing that's coming from you too. So I do feel, um, if you are around others constantly, because you have to be utilize patience as much as possible, especially if you know that they, they, you know, can rub you the wrong way at times, <laughs> you know, but you know, I see you just being in this position of being neutral, being okay. Patience really is the key patience with yourself and others. Cause really worry does not change the outcome. The only thing that worry is going to do is attract more thoughts to be worried about. It'll attract more feelings of guilt, judging oneself, being too hard on oneself because maybe we're not seeing results quick enough. We're questioning something about ourself or our path. What else? But hopefully not.
Balance. Yeah, we're talking about balance. You know, notice in the patient's card, I just see the arms out there. She's just maintaining a sense of balance and integrity here. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment here. So I feel that you're just relaxing a lot more. You're not, you're not trying to, you know, push, shove, or fight a circumstance, or you're, you're, it's like, it's not that you're giving up and, and perhaps not giving up on others or whatever. It's just that you're, you know, you've done all you can. And that might be that profound insight that you're getting. And, you know, hopefully it summons more confidence and courage here. And if you're feeling like that, great. All you got to do right now is just stay true to yourself here. You, It's like, Maybe even get your mind off of others and, and forget what others think about you too, possibly, especially if you do feel that others judge you. What else? And remember, we're talking about giving something some breathing room. You're being asked to change a part of yourself that no longer feels like the person you've become or are becoming. Change isn't always easy, but letting go of this outdated part of yourself will allow you to align with your true self. This is what's happening here. We're talking about that change with this two of pentacles. So something, some progress is being made. This is always happening with everyone. Some just don't want to change, <laughs> you know, but you are in here. And I, I just feel that this is, you know, more indication of you advancing, evolving. Now take this if it resonates, because whatever we are going towards or changing, there may even be guilt because we are moving on to better things or move, having to move away from others at this time. Um, and maybe we, we just don't feel good about that, but you got to take care of you, yourself, your love, your dreams, right? And there's there's nothing wrong with putting yourself first. What else? I felt like I was talking about you getting refueled or re-energized, and that's exactly what you're doing. You might be turning away from things, ideas that just don't give you what you need. I really sense like with this eight, uh, excuse me, with that change, even that two of pentacles, this re-energizes like the eight of cups, which is like a card of moving on. You know, there, you just know that there's something better here, right? Choosing a better way. Choosing to take this opportunity to make these changes, right? To stay disciplined. Some of you might even be staying disciplined, when it comes to uh, taking better care of your health, maybe a fitness routine or something with nutrition possibly. What else? What are you not saying that's eating you up inside? You can't keep this in forever. It's time to let it out so you can move on and be happy. You know, speaking your truth or perhaps just expressing yourself the way that you need to. Don't bottle things up. That's what spirit is saying. Now, if at first, if maybe, just take it if it resonates at first, if you just need to vent it out into the air, to the heavens, do that. Maybe it's not even venting out. Maybe it's just speaking. But spirit is saying don't hold back here. You've got something, you know, where you are, you are bringing the change. You may even be putting your foot down on something here. You may finally be releasing something. Let's get more about this uh, speak up. And what are those, a megaphone or something here? So it's like not being in the background no longer or something like that. It's like maybe releasing what we need to, what we feel may have been bottled up. Let's get more about this speak up for Pisces. I feel like you're going to be saying no too. And you're going to keep going. Perseverance. I'm seeing nine of wands here. I just see a thing where you are not giving up. You're persevering. 
It may feel as though you've been on this path or journey for so long, and you may even wonder if you're making any progress towards your dreams. This message is a loving reminder for you to keep going. You're almost there. Okay. So don't be, a, you know, don't hold back when, when, it, when the time appears or the opportunity presents itself for you to make a decision or a choice, uh, or to speak up, do it. Okay. Especially when it furthers your dreams or help you, uh, you know, protect something here that you've been working hard at. No wonder I was getting that 10 of wands. Cause that's a card of like working hard too, or doing a lot. Okay. What else? But it can become a drag cause we're, we're feeling, you know, exhausted pretty much. But just keep going, okay? Patience, keep going. Don't listen to others, especially if it feels that it's impeding on your progress. And take time with something. Take time with yourself or take time with something that you truly love or that maybe you want to learn about. Some of you might find yourself more... Um, you know, you are water sign, but, um, I feel that you might be finding yourself more like maybe taking baths or being in water or being around water more. Something is going to appear in your life here with this magic card of receiving something and spirit is saying, enjoy it. Take time with it. You could also be taking a dot, you know, well, let's get a little bit more with this dive deep here. It's like trying to, um, get the last of your internal reserves here <laughs> and utilizing it in the best and most profound way. Abundancy. I just was saying this, like you're doing something right here. So listen to your intuition and your feelings because there, there's something that you are summoning here. We've got something tangible, something that will, um, you know, offer you a material gain in life. There could be even a good deal that you find, <laughs> but I was just talking about you enjoying something. And if you notice, like, you know, she, the mermaid is playing with the, uh, you know, necklace there, you know, just playing with something. You're enjoying something here. It is okay for you to do that without guilt either. Uh, what else? Nope. That's it. Okay. Let's find out. Let's see if there's any, okay, hold on. There is something that's going to come out with this feelings. Oh, support. Your feelings are telling you something here when it comes to support or the right support here too. I really get more water sign, like maybe even three of cups. Pay attention to yourself. Pay attention to what and who feels right. Right now, you may have had to, or there may be a situation, Pisces, where perhaps you are taking a little step back here, maybe from others too. Because we're leaning on something here where you're, you're not, you know, you're not going to deplete yourself any further. There's something about not allowing something to deplete, but your feelings are pretty accurate here. Your feelings are attracting the support and the people that destiny has lined up for you. So you know, be aware that destiny is at play. You've made some decisions and choices in the past. Just keep continuing to have the courage to see something through because you're going to see what you need. Anything else for Pisces? Nope, that's it. Okay, so Pisces, let's find out what is a positive that is coming towards you for Pisces. It's that change. My eyeballs is going to that change. Pi you know, Pisces, you may resonate with the last, uh, well, excuse me, the um, someone's time sensitive reading. I will put the link to that video in the description below. Let's find a positive that is coming towards you. We got healing. And we got being spontaneous too. <laughs> 
you know, we were talking about support and people here. Something's happening here when it, when it comes to a favorable situation, a positive situation. We got more positivity and healing with that star card. And we have being spontaneous, allowing yourself to do what you want here. Now, there may be something too with um, maybe classes or groups or maybe something solo <laughs> that you find is uh, powerfully healing you. You might be finding that being spontaneous could be healing as well. But I do see something here where we are feeling connected and we're feeling like we can be a, a more open, more adventurous, and more spontaneous. So that looks like you're going to be having fun. And I don't see you alone either, Pisces. Something is being set up here for you to be happy about. So trust this. I hope that this was helpful. Love and light.